Welcome again to my channel, LR Xi'an. Now, we will discuss the final confrontation between Jack Hanma and the god of Sumo, Nomi no Sukune. Do you guys think Sukune can still use his mythical strength in this dire condition? Let's find out. But first, please know that you can buy the new Grappler Baki Volume Collections, Baki the Grappler Season 1 and 2 DVDs, and Bandai's Grappler Baki figurine on the link in the description below. By buying, you can help the channel grow and release more Baki videos. And for my Olive and Yujiro tier patron for this month, shout out to you, Stranger Dragons Prevail, Joshua Ash, Dwight Rigby, and Jazz Danzo. With all that done, let's now begin. The chapter starts inside the Orakuen Underground Arena. Both men find themselves in their favored position, Etsugapor Yotsu. Jack's pants are embedded in Sukuna's diamond muscles, while Sukuna's hands are pulling on Jack's ribs. His idea of a mawashi. They've locked their arms on each other, and they're just two. Then Sukuna tried pulling. He pulls at Jack's ribs and lunches off with an abaranage. But he stops. What has happened? Hanmabaki then said. He bit right through his trap. You're not throwing him after that. The trapezius muscle. When you lift weights, they are the first muscle in your body to engage. Thus, when Sukune began to throw Jack, his trapezius was, of course, the first muscle engaged. However, at the time, that trapezius was in Jack's mouth. Then Sukune shoves Jack away from him. Whoa, that's what it was. He beat him. The spectators commented. Jack has these people transfixed. No way to throw a man without your traps. Can't let him bite you there. Then the announcer shouted, What a hideous sight we just witnessed! Here in the Kurakuen's underground fighting arena! Jack is taking his stance lower. His head drops further and further down. He has both hands on the ground at this point. This is how a wild beast fights. The man has evolved back into a quadruped. Jack. Have you returned our evolved modern martial arts to primitive and simple combat? Then suddenly, Jack Hanma disappeared. Then he kicked Sukuna straight in the face. Jack lands a kick. And he followed it up with a barrage of punches. Then finishing it with a kick. Now, I think we had all forgotten. But from day one, Jack has always been a striker. Yes, that's right. Jack's face is striking. Then the crowd commented, Holy hell, he knocked the Rikishi down in the blink of an eye. His striking hasn't gotten rusty at all. For real. Those strikes are gonna end it before he can take another bite. Shibukawa senpai, how does it look to ya? And ancient sumo, is that all his resolve is? That it go down like this? No, the fight's just getting started. Then we see Jack Hanma. Kicking Sukuna once again. He got him, right to the face. A clean hit, but Sukuna didn't go down. You can knock him down if you tear off a series of hits, but single hits you can see coming. He'll fully tank it. Ancient Sumo is a force to be reckoned with. Sukuna is thinking, this is not my first time. Facing a giant opponent, back in Izumo, at the temple. Every day without fail, I face him. He was more than 2 meters tall. He weighed 250 kilograms. And he weighed those 250 kilograms in every direction. The weight pushing and pulling, up and down, left and right, along every diagonal, and spinning every which way. The opponent I imagined was impossible, an invincible enemy, perfect in every way. Ah. But I overlook something. Knowing now that monsters like this exist, I should have had him biting me with 2,500 kilograms of force. The climax seemed to draw near. One after another. The longer we strike at each other, the more he lacerates me. These gashes between each hit, between every beautiful defense, treaded ever so smoothly. Between it all are those bites. They're seamlessly blended 
into his weave of punches and kicks. It's a full-fledged martial art, one that incorporates a tool usually reserved to wild animals, biting. He's taken that inhuman technique and used it to its fullest to battle me head on. I'm sure no one in human history has ever used biting quite like this. You're a nice guy, Jack Hanma. You deserve the most effusive praise I can give. Go ahead. You can even bite into my heart if you want. But I shall not let you win. Then Jack scanned Sony for any weaknesses. The crowd shouted, Oh, that sound! They lock up! Blood explodes out! He caught hold. Wait, what's he grabbing? Sony then thinks, You want my karate? You can have it. Then Sokone leaps into the air, slamming Jack Hanma straight to the ground. What do you guys think? Do you think Jack Hanma can still rise after this? Comment down your opinion below. Special thanks to Stranger Dragons Prevail, Sam Shars, Francois, The Real Zervan, A Patreon of the Odds, Jacket, Johnny Mike, Matt, Iron Mike V1, OK, Garuda, Alec Morin, Vegapunk, Just Danzo, Isom Harris, Awesome Swissable, Trent Becker, Aw oh, Core, Well, AWG, Game Freak Place, Maximilian Mellon, Thomas West, Alexander Macias, Sam, Casey, Shitpost Gaming, Lenel, Ayavik the Gamer, Oreg Jesses, Doc Reaper, Joshua Ash, Dwight Rigby, Aiden, and Davis Uber Als. We really appreciate your help. If you want to support my channel, please subscribe to my Patreon, LR Xion. I will put a link in the description below. Our next video will be about Jack Hanma challenging the champion Hanma Baki. Stay tuned.